ExxonMobil has been a world leader in marine engine lubrication for more than 60 years. A continuous research and development program ensures that each generation of Mobile Guard lubricating oils delivers outstanding performance in marine engines. In large two-stroke diesel engines, the combustion process causes deposit buildup on the pistons and piston ring surfaces. This can lead to engine wear with the creation of tiny iron particles, which end up in the surplus scrape down oil. Too small to be seen with the naked eye, these iron particles can be detected in the laboratory under a microscope or magnetically on board ship with a monitoring unit. This gives the ship's engineer real-time data that helps measure the wear rates in every cylinder and informs recommendations for optimizing feed rates. Cylinder oil accounts for some 65% of a ship's lubricant budget. Tests using Mobile Guard cylinder oils at low feed rates have proved that engines can stay cleaner with fewer deposits while potentially saving money on cylinder oil consumption at the same time. The portable testing unit was developed as part of the Cylinder Condition Monitoring Programme, CCM, which measures the concentration of ironware particles within the scrape-down oil. When this iron reading is combined with the residual total base number, TBN, of the scrape-down oil, it gives a measurement of engine wear. Adjustments to the cylinder oil feed rate can then be made. Using the onboard monitoring unit, backed up by periodic laboratory analysis, a continuous series of readings can be made over time to ensure effective protection and safe lubrication. The carry case houses the Mobile Guard monitor unit with a power supply, a container with two power adapters for Europe and the United States, and a USB thumb drive with preloaded software. There are also three check standard bottles with blue caps. These are used to calibrate the unit either before each test is carried out or periodically to do a confidence check that the unit is functioning correctly. The three bottles are pre-loaded with controlled iron-based resin. The bottles must not be opened. A seal on the side ensures that the bottles have not been tampered with. Before starting any monitoring, place the USB into your ship's computer and create a new folder on your local drive called Monitor. Into this folder, Copy the Mobile Guard logbook from the USB. It's important to follow the worksheet instructions for your computer operating system and Microsoft Excel version. The unit contains a sensor that detects and measures the amount of magnetic iron particles in a sample of oil. To prevent interference affecting the readings, the monitor should be placed on a level surface, such as a workbench or table, with at least 300 mm of free space at the sides and at least 500 mm above, and away from sources of magnetism such as metal objects, large power cables and electrical machinery. There are two optical sensors, one to detect the lid position and the other to detect the presence of the sample bottle. These should be kept clear of obstructions. Make sure the unit is placed away from bright daylight, strong drafts and any heat sources. Failure to do so could affect the accuracy of the results. When the unit is first switched on, a message will appear on the screen with the date of when the monitor needs to be returned to ExxonMobil for recalibration. When taking the samples for analysis, use the white-capped sample bottles, each labelled with the cylinder number. 
These must be filled to the neck with at least 80 millilitres of oil taken from the scavenge space of each cylinder. A mobile guard oil sampler is available to help with this process. Remember to drain the sample line or oil sampler to purge old oil. If you also want to have more accurate laboratory analysis at the same time, take an extra set of samples in the red-capped signum bottles to send to the lab. Fill in the corresponding self-adhesive label and attach to the red-capped signum sample bottle ready to send to the laboratory for analysis. If possible, samples should be taken with the engine under load, typically around 70 to 80 percent power. Taking samples when the vessel is operating at very low power creates additional variability in the results, making accurate measurement more difficult. For onboard testing, we recommend taking samples every 250 engine running hours. For laboratory testing, samples should be taken approximately every 500 running hours. If there is a significant change in fuel sulphur level, feed rate or operating conditions, such as high humidity, we suggest samples be taken and analysed on board at intervals of less than 50 running hours. Collect samples from all the cylinders before you start measuring. When using the monitor for the first time, it should be configured for your specific vessel. Press the right arrow to bring up the configuration screen. Use the up and down arrow to highlight the required selection and then press OK. The data to be entered is the ship's IMO number, the number of engines the vessel has, the number of cylinders per engine and the measure mode. Select the single option to measure each sample once. If you select average, each sample will have to be measured three times and the results averaged. This takes longer but can produce a more accurate result. Once this data has been entered, the Save Configuration option is automatically enabled. Press OK to save the data. You are now ready to measure the samples. To begin measuring, first enter the running hours for each engine. Then, using the four arrow buttons, select the correct cylinder for the sample to be measured and press OK. Following the instructions, you will be prompted to place sample on sensor. Invert the sample bottle and place it lid down into the bottle recess and then move your hands away from the sensor. Once the sample has been measured, the measure screen reappears with the results. Choose the next cylinder sample to be analysed and repeat until all samples have been measured. Then select Store Dataset. The Mobile Guard monitor records the iron value for each cylinder. The running hours for each engine are entered manually by the user at the start of every testing session. With all the samples measured, which are now stored in the Mobile Guard monitor's memory, place the USB thumb drive into the front of the unit and the data will be transferred automatically. Once this has been completed, a message will appear asking you to remove the USB drive. In addition to the iron reading, it's essential to measure the total base number, or TBN reading, of the scrape-down oil samples. Using the Digicel unit from the onboard Signum Oil Analysis Test Kit, the TBN for each sample should be measured from the same scrape-down oil samples and added to the logbook manually. Before using the TBN testing device for the first time, you must calibrate it for each of the oil grades to be measured. 
take the unit and press the right-hand button to switch the cell on. Press again to switch between water and TBN modes. Select TBN. Next, select the grade of oil to be tested. In this case, 70. Press Next to continue and start the test. Open the unit and check the cell is clean and dry. Add the reagent TBN into the cell container up to the lower line. Using the syringe supplied, add oil taken from the scrape down sample to the reagent. Replace the lid and tighten until the two marks are aligned and press Start to begin the test. Shake the unit for approximately two minutes or until the graph is plotted across the display screen. When the TBN result is displayed, make a note of it to add to your data set for each cylinder in the logbook on the computer. Too low a reading indicates under lubrication. Too high a reading, over lubrication. Repeat this test with each cylinder oil sample, safely disposing of the spent reagent and cylinder oil and cleaning the digicel thoroughly with reagent S after each test. Place the USB in the computer. In the worksheet, click on Import Mobile Guard Monitor Data from USB Drive, followed by the Autofill button found in Data Entry. The data will be automatically stored in the monitor logbook. It's possible to manually record all the readings and enter them directly into the monitor logbook on the computer. When entering the data, the red boxes are compulsory fields. We recommend that total engine running hours and service power at time of sampling are entered as whole numbers only, not decimals. Once all the monitor and the TBN readings have been entered, send the compressed file to ExxonMobil by clicking Data Entry Complete File Data, followed by Package Data for ExxonMobil. The compressed file should be sent via email to ccmreport at exxonmobil.com. ExxonMobil will then analyse the data and email the CCM report, containing suggestions for adjustments to optimise feed rates for your engine. In this example, the TBN sample points are in the yellow area, indicating a high reading and therefore the feed rate can be safely reduced towards the optimal green area. These recommended rates help achieve lower oil consumption, while maintaining full lubrication protection for the pistons and liners. Lowering the feed rate should help reduce the build-up of deposits and may significantly reduce the wear rate in the cylinders. This helps lower the overall cost of lubrication and supports the extension of typical engine overhaul cycles. Further information can be found in the operating manual and by going online to www.mobileguard.com or by talking with your ExxonMobil representative.